Like most modern state employees, the paintwork of this car is rather weak and poorly resists the mechanical stress, scratches, chips off. Despite this, there are no significant comments on the corrosion resistance of the body at the moment, since most of the body panels are treated with a special primer with zinc to improve their anti-corrosion properties. Among the shortcomings, it is worth highlighting the insufficient protection of the welds, because of this, after a couple of winters, they can begin to rust. Also, rust quickly appears in places where the paint is chipped, so you should not leave them unattended for a long time. There is a complaint about chrome, which painfully endures operation in harsh climate conditions, because of this, after 2-3 years, in many instances it becomes cloudy and swells. On pre-styled versions, the rear window is a problem, due to a violation of the technology during gluing, it may peel off over time. If there is a problem, moisture will appear in the trunk, and wind noise will be heard in the cabin. Moisture under the front passenger and driver mats appears from one of two reasons – clogged drains under the plastic lining at the bottom of the windshield and an unsuccessful air intake design. After 3-4 years of operation, many begin to peel off the coating from door handles and plastic moldings. The protective plastic of the head optics can withstand about the same amount, it becomes cloudy. Over time, the door seals installed on double side tape may begin to peel off. Another problematic place is the resonator, for many it needed to be replaced after 2-3 years of service, it began to rattle. Also, the muffler bracket fell off quite early. With the advent of cold weather, the central lock may stop working, since after warming up, its performance is restored automatically. Many owners of the Nissan Almera G15 blame the low efficiency of regular wipers in heavy rain. Things are no better with standard tires, they are quite hard and do not hold the car well in corners. The disadvantages include the absence of windshield drains, because of this, during the operation of the wipers, the liquid enters the viewing area of the rear view mirror and worsens the view from the driver's side. The Nissan Almera G15 was equipped with only one 1.6-liter 16-valve naturally aspirated gasoline engine, K4M, 102 horsepower, 145 Nm. This power unit is a development of the French company Renault and has been successfully used since 1999 on many models of the concern, among which it is worth highlighting our popular Logan, Duster and Megane. As for the reliability of the engine, during this time of production, almost all of its childhood illnesses were eliminated, and those that remained are well known to domestic service specialists, so there are no difficulties with repairing this unit. In addition, this motor is quite easy to maintain. The gas distribution mechanism is driven by a belt, which is recommended to be changed at least once every 60,000 km. The engine complies with Euro 4 standards and can run off AI 90-second fuel. However, it is worth noting that when running on 95th gasoline, the engine feels a little more powerful. Of the obvious shortcomings of the unit, one can note the discrepancy between the engine power and the internal dimensions and weight of the car. The problem areas here include buggy sensors, especially the position of the crankshaft, periodic oil leaks and noisy operation. In cars of the first years of production, the phase regulator often bothered. There are also complaints about the reliability of the dipstick for checking the engine oil level, it is made of low-quality plastic because of this, it quickly breaks. Not famous for reliability and the upper radiator hose often leaks. A similar problem can befall the fuel rail, fuel leaks from under the clamps. Often owners of the Nissan Almera G15 with this engine are faced with such a problem as triple. Often, the disease is caused by the poor condition of the ignition coils, injectors or spark plugs. Also, the problem may be in the strong wear of the piston rings. A fairly common problem is erratic idle caused by depleted throttle seals that are leaking air. Closer to 150,000 km, many give up the lower engine mount. Other minor malfunctions are not alien to this engine, since they are inexpensively eliminated. For the Nissan Almera in the back of the G15, only two gearboxes were available – a 5-speed manual, GH3, and a 4-speed automatic, DP2. The mechanics of the GH3 series is not only the most budgetary box of the Renault-Nissan Alliance, but also one of the most capricious. The main disadvantages of a manual transmission are its noisy operation, laxity, oil leaks through the anthers of the internal CV joint of the left drive, appears after 60,000 km, and premature wear of synchronizers. Often on a car with a millage of 100,000 plus, the inclusion of a reverse gear is accompanied by a crunch. Closer to 200,000 km, the input shaft bearing wears out and here, the main thing is not to be late with the replacement, otherwise the repair will result in a tidy sum. The declared mechanical resource is 250,000 km, but if you do not follow the manufacturer's statements that the box is maintenance-free and change the oil in it every 60-70,000 km, it can last 4-500,000 km without costly repairs. The automatic transmission is a slightly improved version of the unit known to fans of the brand with the DP0 index. Despite the refinement of the KP, it was not possible to completely eliminate its shortcomings. 
The most significant disadvantage is the protracted gear changes accompanied by jerks and third-party noise from the torque converter zone. Delays in shifting are usually caused by wear of the pressure sensor. If it malfunctions, measurement errors appear, which lead to errors in the electronic control unit and incorrect operation of the automatic transmission. At the run of 100,000 plus, the solenoids begin to fail, because of this, the gears may stop turning on. It is worth noting that the harder you operate the car, the sooner the solenoids will give up. The valve body also painfully endures heavy loads when overheated, the aluminum alloy from which the part is made simply warps. It is not worth delaying the repair of the transmission, since the untimely replacement of worn parts often leads to a major overhaul of the box. Despite the fact that the manual states that the box does not need periodic maintenance, experienced servicemen recommend changing the work fluid in it at least once every 60-80 thousand kilometers, as this will significantly extend its service life. With proper maintenance and careful operation, the resource of the mission will be 2-300 thousand kilometers. The Nissan Almera G15 uses a semi-independent suspension, McPherson strut front, torsion beam rear. The chassis, like other components of the model, was borrowed from Renault Logan. In connection with the increased mass of the car, the suspension was straightened, but at the same time it was possible to retain all its advantages – excellent ride smoothness, excellent energy intensity, and omniverseness. Of the shortcomings, it is worth noting the rapid wear of ball bearings – they need to be replaced at a run of 50-70 thousand kilometers. Many owners know that the quality of shock absorber anthers is not the best – after 30-50 thousand kilometers, cracks appear. When bearings and steering tips are often rendered without having served even 100,000 km, with careful operation they can last up to 150,000 km. Shock absorbers, thrust bearings and silent blocks of levers, depending on the loads, go 120-200,000 km. The rear suspension is considered indestructible, but after 100,000 km it can start to bother with extraneous sounds when driving through uneven selections of the road, the pushings of the upper shock absorber mount break. If you often carry three adult passengers in the back seat to 100-120 thousand kilometers, you will have to change the springs. In the steering, a rack and pinion mechanism with hydraulic booster is used. The rail is reliable and in rare cases need to be repaired up to 200 thousand kilometers. Among the shortcomings one can single out an uneven effort of the steering wheel and the unreliability of the amplifier sensor seal – it leaks over time. But the braking system is considered the most problematic place in the car. In addition to the fact that the brakes sluggishly stop the car, the air pads and discs wear out quickly enough. A fairly common problem is the chafing of the brake hoses of the brake line. The hoses are strongly stretches when the wheels are completely turned out. Also, the hose may begin to rub against the subframe. Often the problem is solved by installing elongated hoses. As a rule, after such a repair, they are not well fixed and dangle carelessly. Another disadvantage is the tendency of brake discs to corrode. For many, over time, the handbrake cables fly out of the plastic mounts. Salon and Electronics The interior design of the Nissan Almera G15 strongly resembles the first-generation Logan, and the build quality and finishing materials have not improved much since then, all the same hard plastic, cheap seat upholstery fabrics and asymmetrical gaps. The instrument panel has a weak and unpleasant illumination for the eyes, because of this, it is not always convenient to read information from it. In addition, the upper part of the instruments is partially covered by the steering wheel rim. The disadvantages include the lack of the mechanism for folding the back of the rear sofa. After restyling, the manufacturer eliminated the drawback. Also, on pre-styling cars, there was often such a problem at the creaking of the front seats and seat belt loops. On some copies, by 100,000 km, the driver's seat cushion pretty much sagged. There are also complaints about the ergonomics of the cabin. For example, many owners complain about the poor location of the signal button, seat heating, power windows and mirror adjustment, the lack of steering column adjustment for reach and a small number of niches for small things. Also worth noting is the poor sound insulation. As for the reliability of electrical equipment, then, due to not the richest equipment of the car, it does not bother with serious failures. Of the shortcomings that exist, it can be noted – the long heating of the cabin by the stove, the unreliability of the steering column switch for the wiper operation modes, and the glass heating filaments. Over time, the onboard computer may begin to fail, for no reason it gives a check engine error. Among other troubles, one can single out a short service life of backlight lamps, malfunctions of power windows and in the airbag control unit. Despite the low purchase price, the Nissan Almera G15 turned out to be a fairly reliable car, with a small list of requiring faults and the breakdowns that befall this car do not require significant repair costs. If you are looking for an inexpensive, spacious and comfortable sedan with a huge trunk, this car will be a good option. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when choosing a car.